Hello everyone, I'm FMZ and welcome to episode 11 of Resurgence with AC Milan. Today, the big games, they keep on coming. It is a cup final, but we are in the middle of the English summer, so it is a bit warm for a shirt. So I've just gone for a t-shirt today. We take on AS Roma in the TIM Cup final. We've got a few results to run through as well. Don't forget, if you enjoy this content, please leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Also, don't forget, my member of the FM Creators community and the Passion for FM team. The link to the Discord service is in the description. Let's get to the results first of all, shall we? And we start with the game that followed the match with Juventus in the last episode. And we took our recent poor run out on poor old Calgary. And we beat them by five goals to one. Fakir with a goal. Lanes with a hat-trick. Dusan Valovic with the other goal. Kongalian with the reply in the last couple of minutes for Calgary as we beat them 5-1. We then travelled to Verona to take on Hellas Verona and beat them by two goals to nil. Dusan Valovic with a goal. Fakir with the second one as we wrapped up a 2-0 win. And last time out, we took on Sosuelo and beat them by two goals to one. Lanes and Izzo with our goals. Castelloni with the goal for Sosuelo. And all that does is bring us here. Lots has happened since we were last together. So Inter have been crowned the champions of Serie A by virtue of Udinese beating Juventus yesterday. So a massive result for them so Inter are the champions for the second year in a row. So Lazio, Juventus and Inter have all secured Champions League football. We are almost there ourselves. We have Europa League football coming. With another win in our final two games of the season, we should see ourselves over the line. In fairness, we did have a very good run following the match with Juventus. We played three of the sides struggling in the table. So it's perfect for us to get back to winning ways and set us up nicely for today. Down at the bottom, where there's been activity down at the bottom as well. We mentioned a couple of weeks ago that Hellas Verona had gone. Torino went last week. Genoa have now joined the pair of them. I think it was pretty much writing on the wall for a couple of episodes now. It was going to be those three to go down. So Sassuolo have survived the drop, as of all the rest. But it is not the league we concentrate on today. We concentrate on the TIM Cup Final. Let's take a look at the match preview because there's stuff to sort out. So here is the match preview for the TIM Cup Final. And it's very much a case today of who's fit because there are quite a few people missing. We have two suspended in Benature and Palio. Lanes is out injured. Sadly, he was injured in the last game. So misses the final. So we've got no one to play on the left-hand side. It's always a good start. Kezi picked up a knock yesterday, so he won't play. Paul Lopez is out, the goalkeeper for Roma. Nakajima, who was doing all the free kicks and corners last time around, is also missing. And Spinazzoli is doubtful, so I'm expecting him not to play as well. So yeah, there are quite a few players missing for both sides. So this is what the two sides have come up looking like. Obviously a changing goal for Roma as Brigliano goes in between the sticks. Tanganga's at right back. El Sudo... And Rojo are in the middle. Berhart with Diawara and Moro in front of the back four. Navarro, Pellegrini, Wanderson and Stan complete the Roma lineup. We start with Galini in goal. Calabera, Patella, Izzo, Hernandez. Bresciani replaces Benatur. Bogas replaces Kezi in the team. Pepe, Fakia, Meta's out on that left-hand side with Dusan Valovic up front. I'm hoping... Meta's going to be all right. We have got Daniel Maldini on the bench. That's right, Paolo's son is in the squad today. He may well get on as well. Who knows what's going to happen in this one as it's the TIM Cup final. The two teams are on their way out with us leading them out. Can we pick up our first trophy with AC Milan? Let's find out. They did a number on us in the league game, didn't they? So we're hoping that's going to not be the case today as Wanderson has the ball. Playing on the opposite side to what he did a couple of games ago. Diawara into Pellegrini. Through to Stan. It's a good tackle from Patella and Izzo hacks it away. And it's going to be Wanderson to take over corner kick duties. Headed away by Patella. Slammed in by Diawara but picked over the bar. Diawara goes into Moro. Plays it onto Wanderson. Wanderson shoots some distance. Shoots wide. Brilliant with the goal kick. Sending it down the field. Looking for Wanderson. 
plays it on to Moro. We've got to start winning that midfield battle if we can. Navarro has it on the right-hand side. Plays it into Tanganga. Will he get across into the middle? He will. Stan will get a header in as well, but it's over the bar. Free kick. Moro plays it back to Wanderson. Wanderson tries to get it into the penalty area. Navarro heads it over the bar. We have got to stop those crosses coming into the box. Galini has sent the ball on. We've gone down to balanced. I think the positivity was a little bit too much for the first 20 minutes or so. Wanderson has the ball up against Calabira. He's allowed the cross, but Batella heads it away. Fakir completes the clearance. Galini with the goal kick, sending it out. But it is coming back faster than we can get rid of it at the moment. Stan has it. Plays a nice ball through. It's bounced kindly for Pellegrini, but straight at Galini. Up to Bresciano, onto Fakir, into Valovic. He's got lots of space, but he's got lots of work to do from here. Goes beyond one man. Goes for the shot from distance over the bar. It's going to stop the cross. No, he isn't. Patella heads it away. Pellegrini picks it up. Navarro into Diawara again. Tanganga has it once more. Will he get a cross in this time? He does. Izzo heads it away this time. We are actually defending the crosses a bit better than we did in the league game. As Fakir comes forward. He's got Valovic with him. He's got Nicolas Pepe on his bike on the far side. And he hasn't managed to get the cross in. As Navarro knocks it behind for a corner. A chance from a set piece just before half time. Not spent a lot of time in Roma's territory. Will we find a goal here as Valovic heads over the bar? Free kick right on the buzzer. Fakir will take it. Good shot from distance. Good save from the goalie. There it is. Half time whistle. Nil, nil. It's been cagey. I think probably the best word to describe that. But we have started to work our way into it as the half has gone on. So that is good news. It's time for everyone to dig in and give what you've got. Let's go out and win this. Come on. Bernard's picked up a knock and he's coming off. Mendes is coming on in his place. He's closing him down. Estudo. Tanganga. Nice triangles. Pellegrini on tomorrow. They've found a bit of space. But he's headed up. Wanderson goes for the shot from distance. Galini tips it over the bar. Wanderson with the corner. We're going to make a change as soon as this has happened. As it comes into the middle, Batella heads it away. Diawara picks it up in back play. He was quite languid about it. Pellegrini plays it into Wanderson. He's all on his own. Gets the ball into the middle. Batella once more shoveling it away. Right, let's have a look at a change. I have a funny feeling Meta's not having the greatest game. No, Venice it was a big ask chucking in a young kid like that into a massive game like this. So the fairy tale is there to be written for Daniel Maldini if he wants to do it. He's coming on in his place. We are down to the bare bones, so we're going to switch Boker's back a little bit. Ask him to sit in a bit more. Try and stop the tide coming our way if we can. With half an hour to play, extra time is looming large in the distance. Let's have a look at something else with quarter of an hour to play. I want to try and win this in 90 minutes if I can. I've got to leave Nicolas Pepe out there if I can as well. It's probably going to be Fakir to come off. And Ben Yedder's going to come on in his place. But we look like we're going to extra time. Unless Nicolas Pepe can come up from something from here. As Izzo gets up. And he's headed the ball into the net with four to play. Armando Izzo. I could kiss you. Milan won. Roma nil. And we have stuck it at the last. We're going to nick it. I don't believe it. It's a good header in. 1-0. It is going to be a smash and grab unless Roma can come up with something in added time. Pellegrini tries to send the ball into the middle. It's a corner. Wanderson with that corner swung towards the far post. Batella up again. He's been brilliant. He really has at the back. Nicolas Pepe coming down the field. Let's kill it off, shall we? Dusan Valovic is in the middle. Keep yourself on side. Ben Yed has gone through the middle as well. Hernandez. Will he try and get into the penalty area? He's still going. His Hernandez is a good shot, but it's saved by the goalie. Just to eat up a bit more time. Maldini trying to send it down into the penalty area. Tanganga, you've got to bring him down if you can. As Manera's coming forward. Playing that more advanced role down the right-hand side. Maldini's gone with him. Stop the cross if you can. It's a good tackle, but it's a corner. With 30 seconds to play. Hang on to your hats, folks. Wanderson's going to send it into the middle. Goes towards the far post. Tanganga gets up. Saved by the goalie. Sit on it, Galini. Take your time. No, he just hubs it away. Why on earth have you done that? Pellegrini plays it up to Manera. Into the stands, Hernandez. Thank you very much. That's time, referee. 
We scored before the five minutes were added, so we've only got seconds remaining. DOR, a good tackle from Maldini. It's into the penalty area, though, with Pellegrini. Nothing silly now. Away, Wanderson's heading it in. No! I do not believe it. I do not believe it. We're going to extra time. Oh, we've defended so well all game. And we've let it slip in the last couple of seconds. And we're going to extra time. I want to swear. I'm not going to. I did last episode. Take a breath. Bogus is struggling. In fairness, we've got nothing for the centre of the park. I've mentioned that already. That's better. Okay, we'll go with Turok in midfield. This is someone we know. He's played a few games for us this season. Extra time on the way. Are we going to be able to deal with the body blow? I thought we were going to... I thought we've pinched it. I really thought we'd done it. Oh, come on. Nicolas Pepe has the ball on the right-hand side. Will he find a cross into the middle? He will find a cross. Looking for Maldini. Tanganga gets up. We have got the extra substitute if we need it in extra time. But Wanderson has the free kick. Sending it in towards the middle. Headed up and over the bar. It might be Romagoli on, you know. Oh, Patella's. Yeah, all right. Patella's struggling. Oh, well, the captain is going to make an entrance. Fellas, Patella's been brilliant. But Romagoli is coming on. I wasn't going to start him. He's been out for far too long. He can play 20 minutes. It's a shame on Patella, though, as I say, he's been brilliant. Other than the cross that came in for the goal, and although I think that was the right back's fault, if I'm honest. Second half of extra time on the way. Someone's going to have to find a winner or we're going to penalties. It's a throw in down this right-hand side. Can we win it a second time? Dennis tries to swing it into the middle. Valovic doesn't look interested, frankly. Bresciani. Onto Dennis. Down the line for Nicolas Pepe. Calabria send it into the box, mate. Does so. Towards Maldini, it was the perfect moment for him. He didn't get his head on it. Valovic has kept it alive. Dennis back to Calabira, sent towards the far post. Maldini takes it down. I really want him to score. Bresciani playing it towards Hernandez. Will he get across towards the far post? Nicolas Pepe's in! 106 on the clock. Nicolas Pepe books us back in front. 15th goal of the season for Nicolas Pepe and I apologise if that was a bit loud it is getting a bit tetchy it's a wonderful cross from Hernandez though towards the far post you'd be surprised how many goals Nicolas Pepe has scored with his head this season that could prove to be the most important one right let's hang on to it this time it's going to be a frantic last 10 minutes or so another goal would be fantastic Dennis tries to send it into the middle it's hacked away. It's saved the corner as well. Wanderson coming down the field. This is not over yet. Calabira's going with him. He's gone the wrong side of him, but he's managed to get back at him. Thank Christ for that. Sends it down the line looking for Wanderson. Stay with him, Calabira. He's gone the wrong side of him. Wanderson's going to get the shot away. Galini with the save, and he sits on it this time. Tanganga with the throw. Maldini's picked up a yellow card. Hack it away. That's it. Send it down the field. Valovic picks it up. It's all on his own, but he knows how to do that. Maldini's joined him in the attack. As he tries to get away, Valovic is alive to the situation. Just keep them there. Another minute or so. Manera trying to come through the middle. Diawara plays it wide looking for Wanderson. We've got to track if we can. Everybody's out on their feet. Moro down for Mendes. Come on, Nicholas. You've got to help out as well, although he's got the ball. Run! To the corner flag. He's going to try and cross it, isn't he? He's going to try and cross it. He has crossed it. Maldini goes for the shot, saved by the goalkeeper. Wanderson has it. Oh, my God. 15 seconds to go. Come on, referee. Look at your watch, please. There might be some added time to come with it. Mendez sends it into the middle. Izzo heads it away. And it's hacked away by Dennis. Never have I been so glad to see a ball not long. One minute of added time remains. All hands on deck, please. All hands to the pump. Let's keep it out. Rojo, it's got to go long from Roma, you suspect. But they are playing it around. We are closing down so well. Estudo, though, sends it wide to Madero. He's got a man with him in Tanganga. 
and it's blocked out by Hernandez. Is he going to stop the corner? No, it's going to stay alive. It's out for a corner again. Oh, no. Someone get their head on it, please. Wanderson sends the corner into the middle. Roma goalie, you hero. He's only come on for the extra time. Pepe runs it down the field. And that is it. Jesus Christ almighty. We've won something. In Serie A, the TIM Cup is ours. But honest to God, I have no idea how we managed that. Nicolas Pepe, the hero, as it all came alive in the last 15, 20 minutes of the game. Yes. 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 Do it with me. Yes. 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 Thank you, Daniel Bryan. What a result that is. We have a trophy in the cabinet in Italy. But my, my, did we make it hard work for ourselves. Ito put us in front, and I thought it was all over that goal from Wanderson. I thought that went in. I thought the momentum was going to shift, but fair play to the boys. They came back. They found a winner, Nicolas Pepe. He's an Arsenal player. I don't really care at the moment. He has scored a goal that will go down in Milan history, or in their recent history at least, as we take the TIM Cup back to the San Siro. Come on. If you've enjoyed today's video, please leave a like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and would like to do so, please hit the subscribe button down in the corner. Don't forget, if you've got any comments to make on today's video, please leave them below. Also, don't forget, my member of the FM Creators community and the Passion for FM team. The link to the Discord servers is in the description. There's nothing like a cup final win to give you a bit of a boost. And I will see you next time to find out if we make the Champions League next season. Until then, thanks for watching. Goodbye.